Uh, 100% containment means we have uh, a line completely around the fire. And those barriers can be in the form of a creek or a stream, uh, a road, or most likely uh, either a hand line that we have constructed with uh, tools or uh, a bulldozer. There are times when the fire will escape that containment either by uh, wind blowing embers across the line, debris or a tree or something that's on fire falling across the line. And in very dry conditions like we're experiencing this year, uh, roots can actually burn underneath the line to the other side and start fires on the other side. Sometimes we, when we put containment lines in a fire, we will say that if the fire burns to the containment lines, it'll be a certain number of acres. There are times when the fire doesn't burn completely to the containment lines and therefore the fire will be smaller than uh, originally projected. There are other times when the fire does burn to containment lines, but it also breaks over and, and burns outside the containment lines. And obviously then the fire becomes larger than we project earlier uh, on the incident. Typically we have about 40% of our fires that are arson related uh, and this year that number is higher than that. Uh, honestly we don't know why an arsonist sets a fire. Uh, sometimes it's a vendetta against a neighbor. Uh, that we've heard stories of they can get rid of snakes and things like that, other critters if, if they burn their woods. Um, but we really don't know what makes an arsonist work. Uh, we do know that it's very serious, especially in conditions like this. When fires get started, uh, an arsonist doesn't really understand, I guess, when, when they start a fire that firefighters will have to take action on that fire and every fire that we go on uh, presents a risk to, to, to firefighters. There's a Tennessee arson hotline that you can call and uh, there's a reward for information leading to a conviction of an arsonist. That reward is $1,500 uh, typically, uh, but this year because of all the fires we're having, the Tennessee Farm Bureau Federation has added another $500 to that and also the Tennessee Forestry Association has added another $500. So the total now is $2,500 reward money for information leading to a conviction of an arsonist. 